In this video, we're going to talk about the Levels tool that you can use in Photoshop. And this basically allows you to adjust the brightness levels of an image histogram. Of course, the histogram that we talked about in the last video. So again, it mainly allows you to adjust the brightness and contrast. So really what you're going to use this tool for is to fix images that were either underexposed or overexposed. And so what we're going to do is go ahead and actually fix an image that was grossly underexposed. And we're going to use that image we talked about in the last video. So what I want you to do is go ahead and open up that underexposed image. And I don't know if you downloaded that or not. If you didn't, I will provide a link to this photo in the description of this video. So go ahead and open that up. And as you can see, that is just grossly underexposed. So what we want to do is go up to image and I want you to do exactly what I do. I want you to go up to adjustments and then I want you to open up the levels tool. And so as you see, we get our histogram here. And then just go ahead and drag this over the right. Now you can also open up the levels tool down here, but I don't want you to open it up from here because we want to get this options box right here. And you do not get that if you open it up from down here. So as you can see, we get our nice histogram and this tool as well. And as we know, everything to the left represents darker tones, everything in the middle are midtones, and everything to the right are lighter tones. And as we can see, everything is on the left. So again, this is an underexposed image. And you can kind of see these values down here, the 0, the 1, and the 255. Basically, as I talked about in the last video, we want everything spread across nicely across those values. So the fact that there's nothing in the 255 range indicates a serious problem with this photo. We don't even have anything really in the 1.0 range. Mostly everything's trending to the 0 range. And again, the 0 would represent darker tones, the 1.0 value represents midtones, and the 255 range represents lighter tones. So how to fix this image? The first thing we can do is hit auto. And you notice, not a lot happened there. It didn't really fix it. And that's what you're going to notice when you use the auto option. A lot of times, it just simply doesn't work. So that's why we actually need this options button right here. So we can actually select a different option to get a better result. Now, another thing I want to show you, too, is hit the Alt button. And you notice this button flip to reset. And what this allows you to do is basically reset the changes you just made without actually having to cancel out of this menu. So go ahead and hit that and then everything is back to where it was. So that's a nice little tip that you can use for all the rest of the menus. Actually, Photoshop works in that way. If you just hit the Alt button, it'll give you a chance to cancel the changes rather than having to cancel out of this menu. And then you would, of course, have to go and reopen it, and that's kind of a pain. So let's go ahead now and hit the Options button. And what you're going to see here are four different options. And the one that works best with underexposed and overexposed images is fine dark and light colors. So let's hit that and take a look at that. Notice how we have this nice range now between 0 and 255. So if we hit OK to this, our photo looks a lot better. So that's why having this Options button is really key. If you change the option to Find Dark and Light Colors, it works a lot better than the default, which was Enhance Brightness and Contrast. So again, you'll want to play around with these, but for the most part, for underexposed and overexposed images, you're generally going to use this option. This is usually the best one. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. In the next video, we're going to talk about this eyedropper, as well as some other options that you can use in the Levels menu. See you then.